Hi, I'm George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California. And in this video, we're going to learn to solve an equation using a couple of approaches at the same time. This says to solve by factoring and using the quadratic formula. And we have x cubed minus 125 equals zero. And one solution maybe will jump out at you. We know that five cubed is 125, so that's one of the solutions. But there's actually two more that are complex numbers, and this approach will show us how to find those. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is factor, and this is a what we call a difference of cubes. This is x cubed minus five cubed. And in general, when you have x cubed minus a cubed, that can factor to be x minus a times x squared plus ax plus a squared. That's the formula for factoring a difference of cubes. There's also a formula for a sum of cubes. So if you had x cubed plus 125, the only things that would change would be a couple of the signs. x cubed plus a cubed is x plus a times x squared minus ax plus a squared. The last one is always plus a squared, but notice that the two sign, the first two signs that we wrote down have been flip-flopped from the difference. Anyway, uh, to factor this one using the formula, that's going to be x minus five times x squared plus five times x or five x plus five squared or 25 equals zero. Now we can use the zero factor property and the first solution we can peel off right away, x equals five. For the other one, we've got a quadratic factor that we still need to solve and that can be solved by using the quadratic formula. So I'm going to use the quadratic formula with a equals one, b equals five, and c equals 25. x equals the opposite of b plus or minus square root b squared minus four ac all over two a. The opposite of b, that's negative five, plus or minus square root b squared, that's five squared, minus four times a, which is one, times c, which is 25, all over two a or two times one. The radicand, five squared is 25, four times one times 25 is 100, so we've got 25 minus 100, that's negative 75. So x equals negative five, plus or minus square root of negative 75 over two. There's a negative inside the square root, so that's going to come out as an i. 75 is 25 times three, and we know the square root of 25 is five. So that gets us to x equals negative five plus or minus five i from the, 20, from the negative and the 25. Square root of three left behind all over two. So there's two solutions and x equals five is the third solution. Uh, let's write those down using a solution set. I'm gonna list five first. Negative five minus five i root three over two, comma, negative five plus five i root three over two. Okay. So Factoring got us one linear factor, which we could use to find a solution, and one quadratic factor, which we had to apply the quadratic formula to in order to finish that one out. 